What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to Felsbrin. We've got a little bit of work because we've got a bunch of bales over there. I think it's like 30 some bales. It's ridiculous. Yeah, 39 bales over there. So here's what we're going to have to do. We need a bale trailer and I'm not doing it. <laughs> You're crazy if you think I am. Uh-uh. We are going to buy an auto load round bell trailer, which is the Ursus. 39 grand. Not bad. Problem. I have negative 842. Problem. So we're going to need, <laughs> gosh, we're going to need 40 grand. Uh, well, actually, we're, yeah, we need a $40,000 loan plus. So I think we just take out 50. Yeah, there we go. 50, and we'll go back. Now we've got 49 grand. Let's buy this thing. Where is it? Here we go. $39,000 purchase. Yes, it will pay off eh, eventually. It's not going to right now, but it will pay for itself eventually. And that is nice. So let's back out of here. Let's go get it. Let's bring it back. Stack up a bunch of bales. Yeah. Moment of truth. How much are four bales worth here? We are about to find out. And unload. Drop them down. $4,300. It's not bad. 43, 8, 10, 10, about four and a half. So, eh. 17 to 18 grand it's not bad it's not bad at all especially when you put into account if, yeah no it's, it's actually not bad at all so if we can do two harvest bales off of this field it'll pay for this trailer and that's good that's very good yeah so how about we do this a couple more times <laughs> we get all the bales brought over it'd be nice to bring them over faster but I'm just not a bell loader. I'm I am not a bell loader. I can't. <laughs> I can. I just not. Ugh. You know how I do. You know how I do. All right. Let's do this. And I'll see you at the last load. Let's find out how much much money we get. Much much money. Yeah, much much money. Let's do it. Well, we're recouping some of our losses, but not all of them granted as i say in the dj business if you can't pay for something after 10 events or 10 things then it wasn't worth it let's bring this back down and this is going to pay for itself after about probably one more harvest of both fields granted but it's not too bad that's actually great took out a fifty thousand dollar loan we're about to pay 31 that well we're gonna pay thirty thousand dollars back and there you go all right sweet so back to the farm we go let's jump in first person let's get rid of that map we don't need that oh man i hate traffic jams <laughs> it's only a traffic jam for people who go faster than you can i don't know what the uh anybody know what the speed limit is on this road by the way because i'm definitely going faster than that so we've got both fit well one field's been seeded the other one has now been harvested and the bells have been collected great what's next well what's next is that we get rid of this and then we throw on the lime spreader because we do need to start spreading lime on here 
Where's this gonna go anyway? Oh, um, maybe in the garage. Speaking of giants, bone to pick with you. Sit down. We need to have a talk. How you gonna put a bunch of sheds and stuff and not let us use them? Not let us open the doors? None of that makes sense. I know you're gonna say, "Oh, well, we're just letting the modders do it." You could have done it. Why didn't you do it? Hmm. Hmm. Is this why I didn't get an early copy? <laughs> Cause I make funny all the time. Er. <sighs> being nice. I'm being nice. I'm being nice. I'm being nice. Er. Okay. <laughs> All right, we currently have solid fertilizer in here. Great. We don't need solid fertilizer in here. So we're going to unload. Okay, I guess it's going to unload over there. And we're going to come over here and load up the lime. Oh, yeah. Fill it up. It does say lime. Good. I'm going to show you how I know. We need lime. We're going to go in here and we're going to go all the way over. Number 19 needs lime. That's easy. <laughs> really easy, actually. We just kind of put that over there and set it on a worker and let him have some fun. Here we go. Bring him around. Just like that. Is so it getting all the way out? Uh it's almost getting all the way out. Now I want to get the whole field. Here we go. Oh, too much, too much. I can't back up for crap with this tractor. Oh, this thing sucks. It doesn't suck. I suck. Hire worker. There we go. Now we're hitting the whole field. Yes. It's a like. Let's get this field done. So we have been up to a lot since the last time you guys saw us. Um, unfortunately, sometimes things happen with electronics and they don't like to work. And that sucks a whole lot. <laughs> so what I've done since the last time you guys saw me is we have... Well, we're going to run over some birds here. We have taken and we have sold pretty much everything in our silo once we got the lime done here we cultivated it up and that's about it so that's good <laughs> we are doing well we are ahead be honest with you I was done with the episode but here's the cool part <laughs> there's a lot more to do man <laughs> let's take a look at corn because we've still got some corn left and best price is at Port North west however we've got the same price at grain mill for corn so instead we are going to go and we're going to go to grain mill and we're going to sell the rest of this corn that we have see if we can really make some money here corn start got it fill it up fast man i love the silos on the fs19 they're so fast they fill up so quickly i love it oh yeah a lot of good things going on through here here is my plan <laughs> you guys can see where i've been driving it in and out uh here's my plan for this because this is only a weekend series so you guys when you're watching this it's only on saturdays or sundays here's what i'm thinking i'm thinking Oh, are they going to turn? Yep. I'm thinking that we take the money that we've made throughout the episodes and we upgrade 
certain things that we have make an upgrade. A couple things I'm thinking about. One, the harvester. Two, getting rid of the smallest tractor that we have and buying something bigger. And getting a new cedar and a new cultivator. That's what I would like to do. However, I will say the money that we're going to get from all that is probably not going to facilitate that for us. So it's going to be a case of, well, which one do we do? Which one do we need? I'm thinking, new, well, actually, you know, if we do the cultivator thing, we really only need to run two tractors because we only have two fields. So we could sell one of the Fent and the Fiat and the Harvester and the Cedar and the... Oh, crap, a Mundo! Well, that hasn't happened yet today. <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was real bad. Let's dump this corn. How much money are we going to be able to get? Come on, baby. Yeah. All right. Five grand just off of that. That was a well worth trip. So we now have roughly $116,000 to play with and work with. Seems like a lot. Seems like a whole lot. It seems like we might be upgrading a few pieces of kit, a few pieces of gear coming up real soon. Here's where the fun begins. Starting to sell things off, we're going to start with the Fiat. It sounds so good when it starts up, but man, do I hate this tractor. <laughs> Let's get rid of this and the planter to go with it. And let's detach just for fun. What are we going to get for it? 52. Yeah, 52 grand. That was pretty good. And the planter, yeah, we're not going to get much for this. 11,000. Not a whole lot there. Let's take the fit, which I got to say, I'm not a fan of the sound. And it's not that I hate the sound, it's that it doesn't grab me. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't have that theatrics to it. Regardless, it's fine. Just, you know, not my favorite. So, this is going to be sold for $65,000. We are already racking up some cash. And condition is awful with this. For fun, let's repair this. And I want to see what our value is then. So... Repair costs, see, 5999 right now, or 5999 Repair, yes. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't see how much it costs to repair. Oh, no! Oh, well, let's sell it anyway. Uh, let's see, $58, and we got an extra $10 for it. <laughs> so we, we made money there. We didn't spend it. We made it. Uh, this is the part that I'm worried about. Because we still have to buy another tractor, and a planter, and a cultivator. I brought this just in case. <laughs> Get it. Let's do this. So the cultivator that I want is the Catros 6002. It's going to cost us $31,000 and needs 180 horsepower to push. Okay. Cedars. We want to get something that is very similar to that. See, this fitter test 3 meter. We really want larger than, than that. We want to kind of go up. Is this one called 4 meters? It's really the first one. Yeah, the first one that's really going to do any good for us is the Rapid A, which we're already using on a separate map. But it does have the same horsepower requirements. So that's not bad. 180 horsepower. Now, let's go into tractors. Are there any small tractors that... Oh, there's definitely no small tractors that get up to 108. Actually, this one might. Yeah, 200 horsepower. The N-Series. Valtra N-Series. It's not bad, but it doesn't give us any room to grow later on down. Now, it does have a front loader. I'm not interested in that. And it's only $121,000. 
which would allow us to yeah we'd be able to buy the other stuff just fine next possibility is the case right here this gives us 261 horsepower if we went with the wheel setup that we wanted we would get wides with weights likely this is a little different because the price is 146,000 so it's not giving us a big price difference but we're getting a lot more horsepower 261 uh, just for fun we're gonna move down to the let's see the Massey 77 now this is where price starts to climb we do get a significant horsepower increase 280 horsepower and we can do front loader however now we're at 211,000 so I think that this case right here is our best bet it's gonna be our field worker it is a heavy hitter you know what we probably just go with wide tires and be done with that throw that big engine in there 260 horsepower 145 thousand dollars bye now we've got 106 grand left let's run over to cultivators here we go nope nope there here we go catros purchase yes 75 grand left Ooh, doesn't the uh isn't that planter a uh, 79 76 76 ah oh, we are a thousand dollars away come on man all right i know how to fix that <laughs> i don't want to but there we go now it's fixed cedars rapid a purchase by yes well we're slightly in the hole however we have stuff now yeah and we can take it all back in one trip because so we can put this on the front and we can put the Vader stat on the back. Uh, will it let me hook up? It will. Yeah. So, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comment section. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and we will see you later. Peace.